Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. What's up, guys? It's me, Protobuffers, and today we're going to be looking at Save Wizard for PlayStation 4. Go ahead and grab your save. So, what you're going to do is go to Settings, scroll on down to uh, Application Save Data Management, go to uh, Save Data on System Storage, copy to USB Storage Device, and here we can copy any save that we want to. Now, if you're on PS5, one thing to note that you can't copy the uh, PlayStation 5 game saves. You will need the PlayStation 4 version of the game, so keep that in mind. Same thing, we're going to want to uh, go to uh, Settings, go on down to uh, Save Data and Game App Settings. Go to Save Data PS4, Console Storage, and Copy to USB Drive. Now, if you want to copy the whole game, it will automatically select the whole folder. However, you can select your saves manually by going to this icon to the right and picking your save. Once you pick it, just select OK. You'll get this little minus symbol that you've only selected a few and you can go ahead and copy. So if this is your first time booting up Save Wizard, you'll see here that there is a bunch of cheats over the game saves that you were looking for. It won't appear until you go ahead and plug in your flash drive. However, all games are not currently supported, but they all can be resigned in the Resigns app. So make sure that the save that you copied was from the save that you want to be putting it on that account too. Once you plug your flash drive in, you'll see all the games that you have copied to your flash drive. In the Resign tab, you can uh, resign your games to another account. However, the first thing you'll need to do is register your profile. So what you'll have to do is enter a name for the profile and the profile will be added. Once you hit apply, I personally keep my names as my unique user ID so I can display what folder that my saves belong in whenever I'm looking for my saves. Now one thing to note that not every game will have the advanced mode feature, but the majority of the games will have the quick mode feature in cheats. So all you have to do is click on the quick mode. It will decrypt your save and uh, show you the available cheats for your game. So from here, we just have to click all the check marks for all the cheats that we want. You can select one of these if they have the little circle. So once you pick your cheats, just go ahead and hit apply. If you accidentally just added cheats that you didn't want to add to the game, you can go ahead and find the backup save. So one important thing is to make sure that you do have the backup saves on. If you want to restore it, all you have to do is right click on your save and then click restore from backup. Looking at the advanced mode, there's two different types of game saves. You'll have a normal decrypted save, which will just look like normal hex. You can open up with something like HXT and there will also be save files that have been parsed down and they look like JSON format or protobuf format. So looking at GTA 5, if we wanted to edit the save, it would be better if we exported the file and then open it up in HXD to edit anything. And then we can save it over there and then import the file and then click apply to make our changes. All right, and here is a decrypted Borderlands 2 save. This looks nothing like the GTA 5 save. So what we would do here is we would export the save and then open it in something like Notepad++ or Notepad. And instead of importing the file, that would cause the save to not save at all, actually. We would copy everything, so we would highlight everything. We would copy it, and then we would paste it over current decrypted save, and then we would hit apply to make the changes to the save. Now in the resign tab, you'll see the games that aren't supported and by the cheats tab with advanced mode or quick mode such as oh, Borderlands to Standalone from Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. However, we do have the ability to resign them, so if somebody else has the saves, we can just download their save and put it in ours, and then re resign it back to our profile. Or we can go to the Import tab and import a zip folder that has the save inside of it. Just click the save you want. Now, some games have different saves for different things, and not every game will be a the ability to copy your saves from it such as games like warframe which is online only so the only thing that saves to the console itself is the profile settings so make sure the game you are running is even able to have cheats in it to begin with you want your saves resigned just hit okay and now this save is on your account that you have resigned it to now depending on when you bought save wizard you'll either have anywhere from two to four slots but as far as save wizard goes that's pretty much it it's very easy to use pretty straightforward i'll see you later join the discord and subscribe